All right, all right, all right. If you know where this comes from, leave a comment down below. Um, today we are going to talk about BBF. What is BBF? Well, it's the small version of back button focus and it helps. It's something I am using for a couple months now. I didn't use it until then and I have to say it's kind of my favorite thing for street photography, for example, or for any photography. Uh, it's a completely new way of focusing uh, your images and that's what we are going to see. I'm going to tell you how back button focus works, why it's good and how to set it up on the Canon M50. So let's go. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I'm Thomas. I uh, talk about cameras, lenses, photography, videography, all things related to video and photography in general. So if you're interested and you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Uh, you will be a awesome human being. And today the subject is back button focus, like I mentioned before. When you take your camera out of the box and you turn it on, uh, to focus on your subject, what you have to do is half press the shutter button and then it's gonna focus and then you press it completely and it takes the picture. The only issue with that method is that when you have half pressed, you can't really recompose your image. What is back button focus? Well, actually we are going to assign a button on the back of your camera and why it's good, it's because it's gonna couple two types of focusing, the continuous autofocusing and the single shot autofocusing. In reality, what it's going to do is that when you press the button on the back of your camera, it's gonna focus, you hold focus, you can even recompose, and if you release it, you go back to continuous autofocusing if your subject is moving. So you have two types of autofocusing in one button. How do we set it up? on the Canon M50 because the Canon M50 is a entry level camera. There's no back button focus really built in. So we have to reassign a button. And therefore we are going to go into our menu. We are going to the third page, which is this little wrench. And on the fifth tab, you have custom functions and you're gonna enter the custom controls and the first button on top is the shutter button and we are going to select that and by default it's set to metering and AF start which means that that button is controlling the autofocus but we don't want that. So we are going to simply select the second option which is metering start and then just below you have that little star icon you are going to enter this and you are going to select the second option, which is AF. You select, and now your controls are assigned. I'm going to the bench, and I will show you the result of how this works. I've set up my back button focus to be that little star, so if I half press the shutter button, nothing happens. Uh, it's only going to use the full press to take a picture. If I press and hold the star icon, you can see it focuses. And if I move, nothing happens because my focus point is set on that camera and nothing else. If I release that button, I'm going to switch to servo uh, autofocus, which is continuous autofocus. And now if I move my camera, it's going to focus wherever I put my camera. So it's great. So if you want to, for example, use this, you can reframe it. You can reframe it like this or like this and the camera always stays in focus. And if my subject is moving, well, I can always use the continuous autofocus to follow my subject. 
that's pretty much it for back button focusing it's really short there's not much to cover but honestly since i'm using it for street photography and product photography well i can only say that it saved me a lot of time and a lot of shots uh, i'm missing way less focus for these kind of subjects so yeah i would definitely advise you to give it a try and leave a comment down below after you experienced it if you enjoyed it are you already using it and that's it so if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell you will be a legend and until then see ya